All right, hello folks, uh, welcome to class. Uh, first class back after the Easter long weekend, so I hope you had a good long weekend. Uh, we're just gonna get stuck into it. So we'll just do a general workout today, um, get everything going. So let's just warm up first with our shoulder movements. Must have some sunny weather. Let's go at your own pace. Feel free to go faster, slower, or the same pace. Really up to you. Open up here. Okay, some wrist movements. Okay, clasp your hands together and we'll just do some figure eights. We're just trying to warm up our joints really, nothing too strenuous at this stage. Okay, um, so we're going to start here. I'm going to push out. Scratching your nose isn't part of the exercise, bro. <laughs> oh dear. Why is it that you always get an itchy nose at the most opportune time there? Do you notice that? <laughs> All right, and then we'll come in here. Uh, welcome, if you've just joined us, good to see you here. All right, just neck movements, up and down. And then just side to side, just gently. Good. Feet apart a little bit. We're going to do our figure of, not figure of eight, our um, circles, figure of angles. Just do both sides. Feet together, knees together if you can. And um, just little circles. You're going with that one? Good, um, specifically walking. Good, we're gonna start out with a little bit of balance and then we'll get um, increasingly more um, into the cardio and strength and stuff. So just let's start with some tandem stance. So just forward about maybe like three or four steps. You can do what you want with your hands. You can have them out for balance if you want. You can have them on your hips for a bit more of a challenge.
Good idea for turning up for class at 9 a.m. It's really good. I was speaking to a um, personal trainer friend of mine this morning and um, out in Castle Hill and um, her and her husband out there, they start classes at 6 a.m. So how about that? <laughs> We're not doing that yet. That's a bit too keen, I reckon. Lift and wait till 6 a.m. Okay, good. All right, um, let's just go into our single leg stance now. So you can do it this way, or you can just put one foot on the other, whatever you feel comfortable with. Yeah. Other side, if you can, if I can. Yeah, so if after class you can stay for like half a minute and just tell me how, how is it that you are measuring your progress? Um, so how is it that you're measuring your progress? What that I mean is what, what are you looking at in your life to say, oh, I've made it from here to here. Like what, what's made it easy? Is it that you've, like how do you measure that you've improved your strength? How do you measure that you've improved your balance rather than just be kind of like, I think I have. Um, that's something I want you to just answer for me. All right, next one. So we're gonna come forward to the side, back, and then to the side. So this is the compass point balance. So we're going to lift our leg up and then down. Up to the side. Up behind. Up to there. So it's the same each time as you lift up your knee to 90 degrees. Each side. We'll do two more. A good all-round balance exercise, this one, if you don't have heaps of time in your day and you want to just do a few reps of this one, you'll get in all directions. Good. Swap over sides. One more. And then we'll just do a few more foot ones and then we'll get into our cardio. All right, so this one, we haven't done this for a while. This is where we turn our feet in and walk a bit like pigeon toe. And don't do this if it hurts. Like any exercise, if you have any pain in it, that's not what we want. Which is different to if you get all that, those aches that just from stiffness, you know, we all get that. Um, it's about trying to differentiate between the two, I guess, which is sometimes easy and sometimes hard to, to know if in doubt, just there in the side of caution. This just gets different forces through your legs. Oh, sorry about that. Council's here testing, um, testing the switchboard and things, so I think <laughs> there might be a few alarms going on, so sorry about that if you hear that. All right, so feet, it, feet out. And really try and almost like you're, you're squeezing out um, a sponge when the way you move your feet over the carpet. That makes sense. Good. All right, now we're going to go forward on our heels, as long as it doesn't cause you pain. 
and then backwards on our toes. Forwards on our heels. Backwards on our toes. Forwards on our heels. Backwards on our toes. One more. Good, okay, what I'd like you to do is get um, get some dumbbells, if you've got them, or your weights, if you've got them. Um, you can do this one without dumbbells, of course, but if you've got something to hang on to, then and do that now. Just take half a minute. have a few different versions, I've got a few here to choose from. Um, start with start with some heavies. Um, I mean these aren't, these aren't heavy by, by you know most standards, but just what, whatever it is for you. You could be doing 15 kilos, 10 kilos, 3 kilos, it really doesn't matter. Um, but have it here, we're going to do some squats. So have your feet nice and apart and we're going to come here and down. So remember that hip hinges that we've been doing? Like so. So if you, the hip hinge is where your, your backside leads and you keep your chest up. Yep. Good, and just You can just relax by doing these kinds of ins and outs as we're relaxing. Elbows straight, like a stiff arm kind of turn with a bit of grip on the on the um on the dumbbell. Sorry, I'm getting my word there today. All right, next set. Good. So you only have to do about anywhere between 8 and 15. If 8 is too easy, then increase your weight. <clears throat> they are worth investing in. Um, weight, weights are expensive though, unfortunately. That's a lot of money to buy weights. Not down. All right, again. Good. Keep going with that one. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna change over weights. Okay, we're gonna do an upper limb one. So this is the equivalent of the um, one that we do with the band. We just do it with a dumbbell. Try and keep a little bit of a bend, just a slight bend in your elbow. See how mine's not like perfectly straight, it's just got a little bit of bend in it. That just takes a bit of stress off the elbow and arm and moves it to the shoulder muscle. Notice that um, Everything else is staying still. I'm not trying to wrench my neck or I'm not trying to arch my back. I'm just letting the movement come from my shoulders. Good. Back to this one. All right.
That's good. Keep it going. Good. So we're going to do a bit of an all-round kind of workout today. I want you to, I guess, come away from, well, if you've been with us for a little while, I want you to come away from the classes with the idea that there's a lot of, a lot of different things you can do, um, you know, depending on what you've got at home and what you're interested in. So you can do weights, you can do bands, you can do body weight stuff. Um, it's just a lot of different variety. You can use a bag with um, books in it. As long as you know the principles, you can start creating your own uh, workout. Good. All right, this time we're going to, we're going to go sort of out to the side. So start at the front of your thighs, I'm going to come out to the side. So if I was here, it's just to there. Notice that my arms, my upper arm is just coming out to the side, right? Just like so. Not high, not up here, just to there. Just little movements. If that hurts, just um, leave this one alone maybe. All right. This is all very shoulder, all the different types of shoulder movements we want to do. And this is just to loosen up your arms after we've done each set. Okay, good. All right, last one. Good. Now we're going to do um, what we call kickbacks. You, you might have heard these ones before. You start, you start with your arms kind of almost like in a chicken wing position and a little bit of a squat forward and you just one arm at a time, just straightening your arms. Notice how my upper arm's not really moving. So as I, as I straighten, I'm not straightening there, I'm keeping it up. And you will feel it in the back of the arm here in the tricep muscle. So this is called a kickback. Good, have a rest. And um, it's good to build all the back muscles or the back side of you. Like, uh, you, you may have heard this, um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of the young ones, especially the males, have do what we call mirror workouts, as in they only work out the muscles you can see in the mirror. And so they end up really kind of dominant in the chest and in the biceps and everything here, but really lacking in the, in the back. So we want to have even development. All right, again. I'll do it at this angle this time, so just one at a time, sorry. Good. I was going to ask you to give me a thumbs up, but I won't because you'll drop the weight on your foot. <laughs> but I hope you're going all right. <laughs> all right, one more time. We'll check in afterwards. Yeah, so if you can just get in the habit, if you can. I know that um, some people just need to leave straight away. That's totally fine. Can you just, um, if you do, can you just, if you have to leave early, just send me a, a thing in the private chat and just say that you're okay. So I know that you haven't um, 
Hurt yourself mid-workout. Okay, good. All right, now we're gonna do a bit of overhead stuff. So again, if you have rotator cuff issues, just um, either do with this no weight or just see how you go. All right, so it's like you start here and you're pressing up to the ceiling. Good. Excellent. Excellent. All right, again. I find having a little bit of a crouch as you do this just gives you a bit more balance. You can experiment. Get your breathing going. Sit. Excellent. Do you like how my shirt matches my dumbbells? I did that on purpose. I'm just kidding, I didn't do that, I just realized that. I'm so not fashion conscious, whereas uh, my dear wife is. And so I'm always very impressed if I accidentally stumble across something that matches. <laughs> like to make a note of it. Uh, might need some tips from you lot. Okay, good. Have a rest for a minute. Have a drink if you, if you need. And we'll keep going. Have a quick drink. Try not to get to the point in a workout where you get super thirsty. By the time you're super thirsty, you're already a bit dehydrated. So try and just keep on top of that. All right, this one's our bicep curl. When you come back. So the bicep curl is the same, same as the band. So hopefully you can see the similarities between this one and when we do the bands. Um, this is where we kind of start with the elbow here. It's just the same movement with a different piece of equipment. Uh, not one, like one's not better than the other, they're just a bit different. Now, if you're using a heavier weight, you'll find that you can't go as fast as this, right? So just um, do what you need to do. Excellent. I'm going to put these down now. I'm going to get into a bit of, bit of cardio. All right. Can I get a thumbs up? You go all right? Yep. Good. 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 All right. Now. So again, just go at your own pace. Let's just start with some kind of jogging or fast walking on the spot. Just do what you can do. I've been having a chat to a couple of people and um, just in terms of the intensities of classes and stuff and there's always gonna be, like we've got three levels uh, in standing strong. But even within those strict three levels, we acknowledge that if you're an Angopra, there's people who are going to be, you know, at the top end of that and people at the entry level of that. Um, we don't have the ability to do more classes than that, but um, at this stage. Um, so what, what I've always recommended is that if you're, say, you know, a fairly fit person, 
then just um, when we're doing stuff, just do it at a high, higher intensity so you're getting a workout. And if you're either recovering from pain or injury, or if you haven't exercised much before, just go down to your level and that way we can kind of even it out a little bit but still be doing the same exercise and getting a bit of unity there. Um, but everyone gets a bit of a workout. So that's kind of the way that we've approached that. All right, back on the spot here. We're going to do our squares now. In the square. Your square can be small or big depending on the size of your lounge room. Steps can be kind of short and fast. No, those are not taking very big steps, they're just short and far. All the way around. Just watch your game trip. If you're on a mat, good. All right. Big arms. Big arms. And then climbing the ladder. And if you can, come up onto your tiptoes as you come up. Good. And crouch down and then just drive those arms. A bit faster than what you realize with a bit of power. All right, now march, but get shorter, then march and slowly grow up onto your toes. Slowly get shorter. And then oh, don't hurt yourself. One more time. All right. All right, step to the side, step behind. We're going to do our skater. You can go faster than me. And the other thing is, like, we're all got different things. Like, um, some of you may know, I'm just, like, I, I've had a bit of a minor neck injury, and there's certain movements that I just need to still stay within the limits. Um, and so, again, whenever you've got pain or injury, usually you should keep exercising when you can through it, but you just move around it. So, uh, it happens no matter what fitness level you're at, what age you're at. I think if you've got a body, you have to <laughs> deal with that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, but don't um, don't feel like you need to stop everything because that usually makes things worse. All right. Um, oh, I've gone the wrong way. This way. So step forward, step back, step forward, step back. Yeah. All right, five cross country skiing. Two, three, four, five. Some four lunges. Yeah, good. Hopefully your heart rate's starting to get up a bit. All right, reaching up, cherry picking, and coming up onto the tiptoes at the same time. Yeah, all right, good. And then kind of the shot foot. <laughs> yeah. 
Just walk in a spot. All right. All right, let's just see, do some boxing. You can kind of squat into it then, box, squat, squat, box, squat, squat, box. Then squat and up cut. And when you get to the when you get to here, like tense up your whole arm, you know? So it's you're getting more of a workout, yeah? So then just kind of flop it, like tense it up. Tense it up. Almost as if you're doing one of these ones. We should get a group photo of you all doing that later. <laughs> that would be fun. And then the same thing with this one. So when you get to here, you're tensing, you're tensing up. So if someone pushed you, they wouldn't be able to push you. And that's how you can increase your, the effectiveness of your workouts by just keeping your muscles switched on a little bit longer. Good. All right, make a target for your, for your knee, and then we're going to knee, 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 knee. You can make the target low or high. Depending on how you're feeling. Are you okay there? Oh, you good? Okay. Yep. No problem. <laughs> All right. Good. Let's get into some super glue walking. This way, this way, this way, this way. I'm oh, happy to get the workout, I am. <laughs> So lift and kick, lift and kick. It takes a bit of coordination. Yeah. <laughs> so if you don't feel like you've got it, coordination is a really hard thing after you hit 65, if you hadn't noticed. Things just don't talk to each other all they used to. Not fair, is it? All right, good, have a rest, have a quick drink of water. Well done, folks. Well Just cool down now. All right, well, let's just uh, let's just do some sways from side to side. We've got a bit of flexibility work too. So up and overs, 
up and over this. Good, you may want to hold on to something, but we're just going to do some kick throughs. <laughs> Lots of balance there. Other side. Good. Let's do this one. We get the elbows going. Just getting those joints moving again. Good. Shoulder rolls. Some hugs. Give yourself a hug for doing a workout. <laughs> and then you're gonna push out, stretch out, and then do a little bit of a circle if you can. Let's just do the dangles. Good wrists. Make a stop sign, elbow straight, and just pull your fingers gently back. You can actually have your hand down if that hurts you up there. But um, and then make a fist and do the opposite. So you're pulling it like down that way, just gently. I don't want any pain here. Just just gentle. Make a fist and pull down. It often feels good, eh? Um, well, some of them do. If you have arthritis, you just want to be gentle. All right. So this one's like a figure of eight. Figure of eight. Move your hips a bit different. One foot forward, one foot back. Just lunge into it. Feel a stretch in the front of the back hip there. <clears throat> Okay, um, stand on one leg if you can and just do some circles. If you can't stand on one leg and do this, either hold on or do it sitting down. Other side. Okay, let's do my favorite. 
the washing machine exercise. <laughs> Reminded me I flooded the laundry the other day. I didn't realize that um, like a little washer had fallen into the um, sink where the, where the washing machine um, drains. I <laughs> walked back in and the whole laundry is flooded. My like, God, oh, <laughs> oh, that wasn't funny at the time. Make sure I check that next time. All right, let's just do some um, some three slow deep breaths. Deep breath in. Yeah. But just take a moment if you need another few minutes just to walk and move move around get your pulse rate coming down feels free to take that otherwise enjoy the rest of your day well done